Hi internet, Bryce here. I want to show you something pretty cool. Well, I think it's cool. It's my desk right behind me. Let's go check it out. I know in the pandemic we've had to live at home a lot, so we've kind of like done that nesting thing where you take all your stuff and you put it together and like, I don't really like this. And then you start like pulling one out, putting one in, pulling one out, putting one in, until finally you've iterated to the desk that actually makes sense. And if you hear stuff in the background, that's my cats running around. So let's go check out my desk. I'm gonna give you the grand tour. And if you don't know what I'm talking about when I point at something because I forgot what it is, I'll just put links down below. So if you see something you like, you can go get it yourself. And if you think it sucks, like if, if I tell you it sucks, probably don't buy it. I'll still leave the link just in case, but don't buy it. If I tell you it sucks, we can't perpetuate bad products. Anyways, let's go get started and I'll show you my cool desk. Ha! Huh. Behold the desk. There's two monitors, there's two computers, and there's a place where the kitties are. Uh, we've got a microphone, we've got a light, we've got another light, and we've got a chair that's over there. So let's go check it out. Let's see, give you the grand tour. We've got the desk is an autonomous desk. It's one of those ones where you can go like, rise desk, rise. And it rises for you to four preset levels. I think it's really great. Uh, if you can see behind, if you have a desk that moves, you need some cable management. So we got my computer's on the ground, it's fine. Uh, and I used to have my power brick actually mounted on the wall there. Uh, I used tape, some like 3M double-sided tape to mount my power brick. And when I pulled it off, I ripped off half the wall. So I got some acoustic paneling to actually make sure that there's no hole in the wall. So don't tell my landlord. And I've got my router mounted on the wall right there. I've got my fiber coming out from the wall. Go straight to the router, which goes straight to one of two tubes that goes to the rat's nest under the desk. I've got my power brick down there with everything being routed either from the computer or there up to the desk. And once it's at the desk, it kind of gets routed all sorts of which ways. So I've got actually two holes that come out of the desk, grommet one and grommet two. Let's go over grommet one first. So grommet one has my pixel stand, ta-da! And it's got two USBs coming out. One is the lightning for my iPhone for work, and the other one is just a charging port for anything that's USB-C, which includes things like my mechanical keyboard. It's a wireless mechanical keyboard that should go along with my wireless mechanical mouse. Uh, these things are kind of good. Let me tell you two bad parts about each of them. So this one, see this this doohickey right there? That, that's the volume knob. It's a piece of garbage. It's absolute shit. Uh, you can rotate it, but it'll just slip. Whatever mechanism they use to make it go up and down just does not work. Uh, I've tried putting isopropyl alcohol in it to see if it works better, but lo and behold, absolutely nothing. Um, so if you like this keyboard, it's wireless, it's mechanical, you can pick the switch type. Uh, it's great, just don't use it for the volume knob. And the second thing, uh, this mouse. I used to have the Death Adder before this, the wired version, and now I have the wireless version of the Death Adder. But guess what? Uh, you see this thing over here? That's the little dock. So you can actually just put the mouse on the dock and supposedly it charges most of the time. However, uh, these two stupid little doohickeys right there. Yeah. After a while, there gets dust buildup on the underside of the mouse. So right in here, you can see uh, there's dust and you have to clean it like all the time or else it'll just stop, stop charging and kind of defeats the purpose of it. But I do really like those two devices and you'll notice underneath, <gasps> what's this beautiful thing? Hold on. Huh. Wow, that is a beautiful desk pad. Where can I get one? Maybe there's a link below. So I actually took this picture, I'm a photographer as well, and I figured, hey, why not put my beautiful artwork where I can see every day? So these are the Grand Tetons in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Uh, I got the nice large desk mat size. It's beautiful, I love it, it's great. Highly recommend. Um, just makes me feel happy every time I sit down and work. It's like, why am I not there? <laughs> like seriously, why am I not there? 
And then let's go to my monitors. So you can see I have two monitors. I usually try to put a video game that I'm playing in the background. So I started up Front Mission 3. I'll eventually beat it one of these days. But it's like, oh yeah, that's the thing I was playing. So I have a 1440p, 165 hertz on the left. That's what I use for gaming. And then on the right, I got like a pretty cheap 4K monitor just to have stuff while I'm streaming on the side, like my Discord or Streamlabs or whatever I have on the right. And then you can see to light myself during gaming, I have one light. This is an Elgato key light. You may think, oh wow, those are so awesome. I've heard of them all the time. Guess what? Absolute garbage. So Elgato's got this app where you can adjust the color temperature, make it darker, brighter. See so like, oh, super bright or super dim. Yeah, it's a really cool app when it works. I would say one out of every maybe three times it works. I've had to constantly reconnect it, sometimes up to a half hour, and I'm trying to stream like, get the light on, get the light on, so you can see my face, so I'm not backlit. And it's, oh my God, it's absolute garbage. Screw this light. If you want a light, don't get the Elgato key light. You will just spend all your time troubleshooting it and you'll be frustrated and you'll be unhappy. And when you start streaming or something like that, you'll be like, I'm in a bad mood because I just spent all this time trying to troubleshoot and I'm frustrated and I'm late and screw that light. I'm sure they make other good products, but not a fan, not a fan at all. So let's continue the tour. So in conclusion, bad light. However, what is kind of nice is this little doohickey here. This is the Dell 4K webcam. I like it a lot. You can just take off the little cap there and then lo and behold, you've got the actual webcam and then it's magnetic. And you can actually put, put it on the back. Um, so you don't want to lose the cap. It's a magnetized on the back as well. It's pretty good. Uh, it's 4K. I do wish, it's weird. If you line up perfectly in the front, you will actually appear as if you're off to the side. So. You're not actually looking straight down the barrel. There must be some alignment quality control issue or something, but picture quality is good. Can't complain, it's 4K. I used to have a web or a actual DSLR setup, and this one is a lot tinier. It's great, it just clips right on the back, and I kind of kind of move it around or point it down to the desk if I want to show off my desk or my cat or something like that. Also, because it's a standing desk, I do want the monitor arm, so there's Amazon basic monitor arm, so these swivel all over the place. They're, they're pretty great. No complaints with those. Uh, just make sure to adjust the tension on them, otherwise you might have issues uh, with it drooping or not being able to go down. So I've covered the light, I've covered the webcam. Now let's cover the audio. So I've got two things. One are these Bose speakers. I've had those for ever. I got one on the right. And I got one on the left. Uh, they're just pretty basic. Sounds good. I actually got these extra doohickeys to mount them, kind of wings on the side, one on each side, because I didn't want them on the desk. They took up a little bit too much space for me. So I just added some extra desk space instead of getting a wider desk. Uh, and then we got the, mo or the microphone, which is a Rode microphone. Comes with this little cover, little pop filter on the front, and I just mounted it on this swivel so when I stream I just kind of swivel it out there and then I can talk to it and then it's connected to a Scarlett audio I just 3M taped it to the bottom so it's not taking up space on the desk anytime I can get something off of the desk I'm happy I leave my mat my mouse my keyboard and then any charging or docking stations on the desk uh, and the last thing is audio so I also have a pair of headphones that are wireless, uh, but I do have a cord connected to actually charge them, so I can unplug it whenever I want. And I got this little hook on the side to hang them from. There's all the peripherals, but how do I actually switch them between PC1 and PC2? Well, first of all, PC1 is my work computer. I have it hooked up to uh, an HDMI for one of the monitors and then also Thunderbolt to another. So this Thunderbolt actually connects to my 4K monitor in the back and it acts as a USB hub. So through just that Thunderbolt, I get one of the 4K monitors and this little USB guy. This USB guy goes all the way 
right under here to a KVM switch. So this just switches anything plugged into it between computer one and computer two. It's pretty great. I have my headset, my mouse keyboard, and my webcam all hooked into there and the, the audio as well. So with a click of a button, I switch all my peripherals between one PC and the other. It's super convenient. Before when I was working from home, I'd actually have to take one set of cables, unplug them, replug them in. And since I was doing that every single day uh, for like 15, 20 bucks, I don't remember exactly how much it was, but it's not very expensive. You can just have everything flip with a click of a button. So yeah, that's most of my desk setup. Uh, I think it's pretty great. I can just sit down, click a button, flip between either my work laptop or my gaming streaming PC. I've got room for a kitten bed on the side that is used by a kitten. I don't know where she's going. Well, also one, one good thing about having all the cables sort of managed, it's kind of a rat nest, is that if you have a cat, they're less likely to go grab at them and more likely to just go to their bed where they belong. All right, that wraps up my desk tour. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you got a little bit of inspiration for whatever the hell's back there. Have a wonderful day and bye-bye. Uh,